Hey folks, welcome back to Broken Ant Loud Doors. I kind of want to make a continuation video to the last video that I put up on my channel, um, talking about my primary bushcrafting kit when I'm out in the woods, you know, just practicing my skills or spending a night or whatever the case may be. Um, obviously, this is all preference, but the kind of tools that I carry are very common amongst the bushcraft community and I want to give you an insight on what I carry. Okay, uh, starting off, the biggest item that I have is the Grantsfoss Brooks Small Forest Axe. It's a great axe for bushcrafting. It is long enough to do some heavy chopping, um, but it's not uh, too big to be carried in a backpack. It's only about 1.2 kilos, so it's, it's not too heavy to be carried. Um, and it's just a valuable tool to have in a bushcrafting environment. An axe can do so much for you. Now the second one, probably most of us, especially the ones that have a bit of experience, will carry this. This is the Baco folding saw you've seen in a review on my channel. I won't go into detail, but it's just, in my opinion, the best folding saw because it is very light, very durable. Uh, I've never had one of these break a very sharp teething system, it's called the XT uh, teeth and it's it's never leaving my kit it's it's irreplaceable in my uh, toolbox okay now I'm carrying a Swiss Army knife this is actually a very old knife this has been given to me by my mom and she she had this blade when she was a kid um, so it has a very uh, distinct family history and it's still still a great tool to have and it's so light and small that I will carry this in my pocket may it be my um, my chest pocket on my shirt or my trouser pocket or whatever but I have you know a small blade I have a small saw um, very important I have an awl on this so I can you know punch holes into wood and other material I have a can opener if I you know carry uh, rations with me I can open the can and I have a bottle opener um, which I end up using the least but if you have a few beers you know you have a bottle opener as well um, now coming to my primary uh, cutting tool this is my uh, custom sheath made for my Felneven F1. Now you have seen this in, in videos before so I as well won't go into detail but the sheath has a uh, pouch on the top carries a sharpening stone it's the Felneven DC4 in my opinion this is one of the best compact sharpening stones you can find it's diamond sided on one and a ceramic side on the other uh, this takes care of all my sharpening needs in the field I have my leather belt as well for stropping um, and it also has a fire steel on the bottom okay so I have combustion and fire with me all the time on my belt and the last tool that I carry is a Leatherman multi-tool now this is a bit unconventional this is the uh, OCT or also called one-handed tool made by Leatherman this is one of the newer models uh, kind of leaves the old system of Leatherman tools behind you have a different opening system for this I'll make a review on this because it is a very cool tool to use um, more suited to military or law enforcement use but I I just like the way this tool handles itself you know it has has the pliers has the uh, wire cutters and has a bunch of different tools kind of overlapping with my Swiss Army knife but I always have a backup tool I have a saw and I have a serrated blade and then um, I also have a belt cutter, a uh, screwdriver, um, actually three screwdrivers, one is a Phillips, two are flatheads and uh, a can opener as well, okay. Um, but the pliers are why I carry this tool in the first place. And this is my primary bushcrafting tool. Now, if you've seen my previous video, you know that I will keep all of this um, pretty much the same. Sometimes I will exchange my primary cutting blade. Um, 
I will sometimes, instead of the Felneven, carry my Topps Fieldcraft. Beautiful blade, uh, very usable design. Um, I started carrying the Habilis Bush Tools Pathfinder Trade Knife uh, a lot recently just because I have taken the time to resharpen and reprofile the blade. Um, I love the, the trade knife design, it's a very usable, practical design and it's a, it's a great knife to use. And then a lot of the time I also find myself using my Martini Hunter. Um, this is a weaker design compared to the other three. It only has a rat tail tang. Um, still a beautiful blade to use for batoning and other uh, things like that. I have my my axe, uh, so I won't won't need to do heavy work with this anyway. This is more for carving, making feather sticks, and it excels at this because it has a scanty ground blade, uh, quite a narrow spine, so uh, you get the curls done very very well but if you look at this with the failed even F1 this is probably what I carry the most alright and that is all there is to it it all takes experience on what you want to use I found that this is very effective for what I need it for and it doesn't weigh a bunch and in my opinion you should always go tool heavy so carry more tools than too little because if you will take away the axe take away the saw, then you would be in big, big trouble to prepare firewood, okay? Um, you could make a fire with this, you know, break the branches, whatever, but if you have these two tools, you will be able to make whatever you want, um, build a shelter, build a fire, um, and just be more self, self-reliant in a wilderness environment. And that is what it's all about. We want to be um, independent from from uh, you know certain situations we want to create our own uh, microclimate and just be able to be effective at what we do and that's it all right I hope you enjoyed the video please comment and like below like I say I always uh, look for ideas and suggestions so if you have things you want to see on video then please just leave me a comment or send me a personal message and until then uh, have fun out there guys and stay safe